the experiment that we will be going to do here will be related to the spring constant. So the aim is to find the spring constant or force constant of a given medical spring and to plot load extension graph. So the apparatus required here will be a helical spring, a weight hanger and slotted weights. Here you can see, now this is the helical spring attached to a stand. Here this is the pointer and this is the scale. Here you have slotted weights with the hanger. Here when you suspend a weight in this helical spring, you can see that there will be an extension. So this extension is because of the load that is being put over here. Similarly, the spring will have an innate tendency to go back to its original position which is because of a restoring force. This restoring force will be also equal to the external force applied. So we can say here that the theory is according to the Hooke's law f is equal to kx where k is the spring constant and spring constant k is equal to force f by extension x. Force f can be written as mg so it is mg by x where g is the acceleration due to gravity where the value is 9.8 meter per second square. The experimental setup for finding the spring constant of a helical spring has been set up here and you can see that a helical spring has been suspended from a stand and a scale is also attached to find the extension that the spring can show once it is loaded. You can see the observation table to find the spring constant. It is given by the formula k is equal to mg by l measured in newton per meter. So the dead weight is taken as 0 then subsequently the dead weight is added with an increase of 50 grams each such as dead weight plus 50 grams, dead weight plus 100 grams, dead weight plus 150 grams, then dead weight plus 200 grams, dead weight plus 250 grams. This can be converted into kilograms so you will get it as 0.05. 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2 and 0 0.25. Now this mass can be converted into load which has a formula mg so multiply it by 9.8 and you will get it as 0 0.49, 0 0.98, 1.47, 1.96 and 2.45. This is the experimental setup to find the spring constant of a helical spring. You can observe the initial pointer reading when there is no dead weight attached. Now let us take a slotted hanger with its weight and suspend it gently and note down the reading of the pointer once the vibration of the spring has completely come to a stop. Here you can see the reading is approximately 7.5 centimeter. We can enter the pointer reading when the dead load was hung. So it is 7.5 centimeter as per our observation. Slotted weight of 50 grams and put it on the dead weight. Now it is the dead weight plus 50 gram and note down the pointer reading. You can closely observe and find that the pointer reading shows a reading of 9.9 .9 centimeter. We enter the reading as 9.9 .9 centimeter. Add another 50 gram weight and note down the pointer reading and you can see that it is approximately 12.4 centimeter. Enter the reading here when another 50 gram was loaded. So it was 12.4 centimeter. Another 50 gram weight such that 
Now it's the dead weight plus 150 grams and observe the point of reading and you can see the point of reading approximately shows a reading of around 14.9 centimeter reading over here so when it was loaded so you get a reading of 14.9 centimeter we add another 50 grams such that now it is the dead load plus 200 grams and you can see now the pointer reading approximately shows a reading of 17.6 centimeter so here you can enter the reading as 17.6 centimeter patients and it was 17.6 centimeter load another 50 grams so that now it is the dead weight plus 250 grams and note down the readings you can observe the pointer reading and the pointer reading shows it's 20.1 uh, centimeter observations here so when it was loaded so for dead weight plus 250 it was 20 point one centimeter the reading when the weights have been unloaded so for the dead weight plus 250 it will remain the same as 20.1 and the next step we have to remove a 50 grams from it on removing the dead weight we can observe the reading of 17.6 centimeter note down your observations here it is 17.6 centimeter in the next step you again take out a weight of 50 grams so take out a weight of 50 grams from it unload it and again observe the reading and you can observe that the reading is 14.9 centimeter the reading over here and the observation shows that it is 14.9 centimeter similarly the next step you can unload again another 50 grams and observe the reading unload another 50 grams and note down the readings the reading shows around 12.4 centimeter so note down the readings here it is 12.4 centimeter similarly again unload another 50 grams and observe the reading unload another 50 gram weight from it and observe the pointer reading so the pointer reading shows a reading of approximately 9.4 9 centimeter and observe and note down the reading here when it was unloaded so it shows a reading of 9.9 .9 centimeter unload it and you can see for the dead weight it shows a reading of 7.5 centimeter you can note down the observations here when it was unloaded so for the dead weight it is 7.5 centimeter extension you have to minus in this example 9.9 .9 minus 7.5 so for this you will get a reading of 2.4 then subtract 12.4 minus 7.5 so you get here 4.9 14.9 9 minus 7.5 that you get it as 7.4 subtract 17.6 
so it is 17.6 minus 7.5 so here you get it as 10 point 1 then 20.1 minus 7.5 you will get it as 12.6 convert the extension l in centimeter to meter so you divide it by 100 so 2.4 by 100 you get 0 0.024 so on carry on with this procedure for the other set of readings so you get 0 0.024 0 0.049 0 0.074 0 0.101 and 0 0.126 in the spring constant by using the formula k is equal to mg by l so mg you can see here you get it from the load that is 0 0.49 0 0.98 1.47 1.96 1 and 2.45 divided by the extension length in meter that is 0 0.024 0 0.049 0 0.074 0 0.101 0 0.126 so when you substitute these values in this formula k is equal to mg by l you will get it as 20.41 20 19.86 19.41 20, and 19.44 the next step is to find the spring constant the mean spring constant so k is equal to add up all this and divide by the, the number of quantities available so it is 20.41 plus 20 plus 19.86 plus 19.41 plus 19.44 divided by 5 so which you will get it as 99.12 divided by 5 and the approximate mean value will be 19.824 so you can write it as 19.824 the unit shall be Newton per meter. We will plot a graph of load and extension, load on the x axis and extension on the y axis. So it is load on the x axis and extension in the y axis. The data for the load and the extensions were for the load when it was 0 the extension was 0 and when the load was 50 into 10 raised to minus 2 the extension was 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 2 for the load 100 into 10 raised to minus 2 the extension was 4.9 into 10 raised to minus 2 for the load 150 into 10 raised to minus 2 it was 7.4 into 10 raised to minus 2 for the load 200 into 10 raised to minus 2 the extension recorded was 10.1 into 10 raised to minus 2 for the load when it was 250 the extension recorded was 12.6 into 10 raised to minus 2 so we'll start plotting so for f we can take this as 50 100, 150, 200 and 250 and along the y axis for extension you can plot it as here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 
30. So when it was 50, for 0 it was 0, so for 50 it was 2.4, so we take it as 2.4, for 100 it was 4.9, so we take it as uh, 4.9, for 150 it was 7.4, so we take it as uh, 7.4, for 150. For 200, it was 10.1, so we take it as 10.1 over here for 200, and for 250, it was 12.6, so 12.6 can be over here. So we can see here that the scale chosen was on the x axis 20 divisions. was equal to 50 into 10 raised to minus 2 Newton on y axis 10 divisions was equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter We can join the points. So we can see that we get an almost a straight line. So we can take this two points and mark their coordinates so this can be taken as x1 y1 this can be taken as x2 y2 where x1 is 50 y1 is 2.4 and here x2 is 250 and y2 is 12.6 so we can calculate the slope slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so we get here is equal to 12.6 minus 2.4 divided by 250 minus 50 so we get it as 10.2 by 200 so on dividing this we get the slope as 0 0.051 but we know that the spring constant or the force constant k is equal to 1 by slope. So that can be equal to 1 by 0 0.051. So which can give an answer of 19.60 Newton per meter. So this is the answer obtained by graphical method. And by calculation, we had seen that we got the value of k as 19.824 newton per meter so our answers are approximately same